Greetings fellow nerds. I thought I would do a video of my uh, PCB assembly setup. So today I'm gonna populate one of these PCBs that I made. Uh, it's a little test board we're playing around with. It's got uh, four uh, 18 mega 328 PBs um, in a little cluster configuration. So there are SPI ports between each of the CPUs, a little uh, five volt regulator and some LEDs. So a relatively simple board, uh, 0805 uh, resistors and capacitors. So nothing too tiny, a little eight megahertz uh, surface mount oscillator in there as well. And so we're gonna build this board up. I had the boards made at uh, JLPCB, two layer, a little ground plane on the back. It's a relatively simple layout. Uh, so I have the board down on this little plate here, and I had a stencil made at um, OSH Stencils. And so we're gonna use this Kester uh, EP256 solder paste to uh, put paste down on the board, and then we're gonna populate it. Um, I have a, a trinocular microscope here that I use for uh, looking at and working on small things. So it's got normal binocular vision for the user, and then I also have a camera on it, uh, which displays in the screen here, um, and also uh, records, so I can mix in uh, some of the video from the microscope uh, into the videos. Um, it's got quite a bit of zoom, actually. I don't know if you can see it here. Actually, I can show you the, the record feed here. Let me turn that on here. And then you can see this is looking at one of the microcontroller pads here, and I can zoom in quite a bit. It's really, really close to those pads. As an example, I'll zoom back out here. I'll put on a little um, 0805 resistor. There it is. We'll zoom in on that. And so it's got relatively good zoom. A little more light to it when you get too far down in there. Uh, and of course at this level, it's relatively hard to move parts because you're talking about very small movements, making a big difference. Um, but it is nice for inspecting things. Uh, and it's usable for doing um, assembly as well. So I have the PCB, we'll put the solder paste on. All the components are in this little 0805 uh, case. So capacitors, resistors, the LEDs, um, and the other two service mount parts. And then I have a little little tray here of the 18 megas. Um, and I also have, I'll turn that on, a little SMT part pickup tube. Got a little hole there you put your finger over and you can use it to pick up um, small flat parts and then place them onto uh, a board like that and you move your finger and let go of the hole and that drops it down so you get it's nice for moving uh, parts around so it's an easy way to grab stuff put that back oops in here It's especially nice if you're um, moving around parts that you don't want to touch um, due to static electricity uh, breaking things. So uh, we will do the solder paste and then we will get the board over here and inspect it. And then we'll start installing components. This has been at room temperature for a while, so it should be pretty good. We're gonna put a line of it on here. that for now. That looks pretty good. Put this guy over here. Turn that thing off there. 
Okay, so we will lift up the stencil here carefully. Pop the board out. Take it over here and take a look at it. Okay. Those solder paste pads look perfect. Let's check out the ones on the processors. Yep, those also look good. Okay. Yeah, that looks real nice. Yeah. Stencils are definitely the way to go for this kind of thing. Okay. So now we'll start populating this uh, board with uh, parts. All right, we have finished populating the board. Everything looks great. The uh, stencil on solder was just perfect. So we're going to heat up the reflow oven and then we will give it a reflow and see how it does. All right, the board finished. I have taken it out and it looks perfect. Put it under the microscope here and see what it looks like. Okay, we'll take a quick look around the board and see. So each processor looks perfect. No um, solder bridges and all the joints look good. The capacitors and resistors look good, diodes look good. Regular looks good. A little bit light on solder there, it looks like, maybe. These guys look good. Yeah, everything looks, looks functional. The um, oscillator looks like it's connected okay. All right, well, we'll do some powering up and testing. And then uh, I'll go through and add some pin connectors so I can flash the uh, the Arduino bootloader onto each of them. Uh, and then we'll try writing some code on it.